Sounds even better the second time. <laughs> wow, man. So we got the Iridium Edition amp one plugged in on the floor. This is the one that we had to break out the EMGs for because right. this is the this is the newest one. Yeah. That's more tuned for the modern mm -hmm. guitar player. Yeah. Now, was this based largely on some of the feedback you were getting from some of the players, or was this just seemed like a natural evolution to take the amp one? Here's my story. You know, I'm the classic rock guy, and um, I've been struggling with my image being too much classic rock all my <laughs> life. You know, people blame me, and, yeah, it sounds good when you're a Stratocaster, but you know, if you have some EMGs, it's not right. And you know what? When I finished the, the, the Mercury edition, I was ready to show the world there's another side in me as a sound designer mm. that is able to do some proper metal amps. All right. So, and of course, I got feedback on the silver one, which I was expecting not to be 100% metal because I didn't design it to be 100% metal. Right. Uh, and I, I could see that people wanted, you know, the format of an amp one for, for metal. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, okay, let's give it a try. It took me three iterations and it took me a lot of collaboration with other players since mm -hmm. I'm not a metal guy. Right. So I have some local guys in Germany from a band called Godslave from Saarbrücken and they were do thrash metal. I learned a lot about metal. How many subgenres there are. Oh yeah. I don't even get it anymore. We need a flow chart for that one. <laughs> yeah. A family tree. Yeah. And um yeah, and and the, the biggest lesson I learned from those guys is the harder the music, the nicer the people. <laughs> <laughs> you know this, this can be true yeah yeah so, so you know the, the, the most the sweetest people are the, the guys that make the darkest music but anyhow um, the, the Iridium edition is um, kind of um, showing that my range of tones can be from you know super clean modern to vintage clean to slightly overdriven to you know basically the whole history of guitar tones mm -hmm. and the iridium goes you know uh, you know with modern amps that uh, we all know you know rectifier style or yeah you know, ref builds beautiful amplifier oh, yeah. in 14 and blah 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 and uh, so i i took a closer look at at these amps and at the players and i'm for me it was very exciting to do mm -hmm. this so a, a personal challenge you know yeah of course and that's that's another thing about your longevity in the industry. Yeah. You have to keep things exciting. Absolutely. And you always have to be thinking about, what am I going to do next? next? And is it going to satisfy that weird sort of creative urge that we tend to have as musicians and as artists? And, you know, there's right. an art to building gear yeah. and there's an art True. to building amplifiers. We have to keep constantly pushing ourselves to do new things. And this obviously is one of those things. And one of the things that's so interesting to me with the amp, this particular amp one is, it's always so difficult for me to keep these EMGs Jeez. clean without using a compressor. This, it's just the exact setup that I told you guys at the top of the video. It's guitar, the pedals, the amp, and it's clean. Yeah. It's really clean and it's really nice. And even like bridge pickup clean. <laughs> There's a little bit of grit and snarl on there, but it's that good kind of snarl that just brings out a little bit more detail in right. things. And then we can go to the neck pickup. Still works. Yeah, and I try to get as much clarity as possible because, you know, the, 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 the metal pickups tend to have a, so, uh, a lot of output and a certain mid-range. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so I increase the headroom of mm -hmm. the preamp stage, and I, I change the frequencies to be a bit more high fi -ish, Okay. Uh, which I think helps the whole thing. On the custom control on the side, you can go back for normal. Okay. But uh, you like that one, so I lift it here. We we do that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what I, I want to do now is there's three different voicings to the overdrive channel on both the amp ones. But I think what's really cool with this particular version compared to the Mercury is the Iridium's three voicings, the vintage, the classic, and the modern, really do cover this wide swath of different hard rock and metal genres. So just with the sound that we have dialed up, I'd actually like to just switch between those three voicings sure. to show everybody the what? variations just in the gain structure of that particular channel. So I'm gonna tune this guy up real quick and then we will do that. Okay. <laughs>
wow. Just those, those three variations, you could go in with this in the studio, and you could record three guitar tracks Layers. with those yeah. three and create this huge sound, and you don't yeah. even have to bring an amp collection. You just no, it's, bring it's that. All there. <laughs> There's so much variation, and I, that was to really go back and forth between them at like, your turning, and I'm just playing, and wow, I'm just floored by the variation between those. I want to bring out another guitar with, okay. a, with a little bit of a different pickup set, um, so I'm going to go grab my Ramos Custom with the Seymour Duncan Nazgul in it, and let's see what we can do with those things. So, uh, Camera Girl, would you be so kind as to grab me the, uh, the Nazgul? Different guitar now. This is with the Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Sentient set. Um, I brought this out because these are passive pickups, but mm -hmm. they're designed for the modern metal player. Um, but first, I do want to hear something. I want to hear my favorite uh, clean tone with these pickups mm -hmm. with uh, the clean channel on here. I'm going to go back to the clean with the echo from the uh, flashback two and the reverb. Yeah. output yeah so therefore the boost helps yeah definitely yeah. nice sounds really good yeah all right switching over to the dirty channel we'll start with the uh, vintage which i want to address here because this we were talking about this off camera the vintage mode on, on the iridium is not like the, the vintage mode on, on the mercury. mercury yeah think of it like this mercury is 1959 super lead vintage on the iridium is jcm 800 our, our terms in different genres of music for vintage are very subjective here. Yeah. So let's uh, let's check this out. <laughs> Now let's go to the classic voicing. Okay. Let's hear that same thing. <laughs> It's working. <laughs> now let's go to the modern. Let's do that same. <laughs> That's gonna be the most metal I get for like the next six months. But that sounds great. That really does. I feel like yeah. with the modern channel, that's really excelling with these particular pickups. pickups and yeah. and I, I think it might just be because this particular set of pickups was specifically tuned for this in, kind of this kind amp. of sound and yeah. this kind of amp, which is really 
it's really quite incredible. Let me uh, switch to the neck pickup. We'll put on some echo. We'll put on the reverb and uh, let's play some leads. Yeah, so. mine as well. <laughs> You know, we are on six to get the whole yeah, time. Yeah, we're on so, six the whole time. Yeah, I'll give you a ten just for, so, so you see how much gain there. Pretty into it. Mm -hmm. Wow. One more guitar. Sure. Seven string. We gotta try it. <laughs> we have to try it. Okay, Chapman ML7T plugged into the Amp 1 Iridium Edition. Uh, again, I think what is gonna be good is just to go through the different voicings on sure. the Dirty Channel and just uh, have a grand old time with it. So let's check it out. <laughs> It's, it's amazing th just the variation that you get from just these different gain structures and how useful they can be because, you know, with modern metal, guys love the high gain sound and they love it real tight, but one of the things I always feel like with these tight, tight guitar tones from modern metal and especially, you know, extended range instruments mm -hmm. is that it always lacks some sort of body and it's just yeah. real, like, choked sounding. This I still feel like, no matter the voicing, I, I still have a heftiness where it's going to shake the floor a little bit and, and, and maybe move the air. Um, so and we're isolated from the cab, which is even better. But I can I can feel you it feel under it. Yeah. I can feel the it under my feet. Still there, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's uh, let me see. Let's try this. Let's boost the okay. vintage. Okay. And, and uh, maybe crank the gain, whatever. Yeah, I mean, let's yeah, crank yeah, the yeah. gain. Why so not? See, see how much gain is there on the vintage. <laughs> uh, can't have can't have too much gain, I suppose. <laughs>
That works for me. Nice one. Not, yeah. I'd gig with that. I'd play with that. I'd practice with that. I'd write with that. I'd be happy with that. So this is, I think this amp is more your personal Well, it's amp. probably more my personal speed for, yeah. I would say, 83% of what I do. Okay. But the other 17%, I, I would probably want, to, like, if I'm having a good time and just, like, I want to yeah. jam out. I want to have it, like, just enjoy myself and, yeah. like, practice around with my playing a little bit in different styles. I would be happy with either of them. Okay. I think I could get easily anything I wanted to out of either of them. Even if I, if... Even if the Mercury were the only thing on the market, I know that there's a way that I could still get a sound that I would easily use, even with this. That's mm -hmm. what EQ pedals are and compressors are right, for, yeah. after all. So, yeah, I'm, wow, really... Like I said, this the only opportunity I had to play these things was through headphones. Hearing them in this situation, it's a completely different animal, and I'm completely won over and blown away by this. You, done a absolutely fantastic hey, thank job you with so that. much and for me it's a big honor to be at your place and hear oh. it under your conditions you know i'm learning from this you know because this is your home this is your studio this is your reference point and this is good for me to I'm, see you know i'm i'm happy to have you i'm happy to have you here hey. it's been it's been a really cool experience um, he did also bring over the nano cab, which I think we'll, we'll spend a little time just off camera checking yeah. it out and seeing how things go. But, uh, I'll get, throw in a little B roll of that. <laughs> just the idea that there is a cab this small right. that you can just bring the cab and this little guy, that's your amp. Yeah. That's your setup. That's your rig. Like the fact that we have the ability to do this, like backline gear doesn't have to be a thing that we have to contend with. I mean, backline cabs would definitely be easier than to sure. toting a cab. Yeah, but, but I mean, you, you throw this into your hand luggage, you know, and you are good to go. And this, wherever. these do come with gig bags. Yeah, it, little it, bags. It, to... it comes in a little bag, so the, 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 the controls are not changed when you pack them up or nothing gets scratched. And this is universal power, and it has an effects loop, and it has all a MIDI option. So there's many things you can do with that. Yeah. Because I had professional guitar players in mind, like myself and the other guys that I know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So it's something really designed by a pro for the pros, with a with a history behind it, with with credibility in this business. You know, there's there's lots of talk of innovation in our in our industry every year around this time. Sure. Obviously, that's what the NAM show is for. By nature. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I think what with this and with, with a lot of the other products that I've seen of this same type is it's this is really where I feel like the, the guitars can truly combat the terrible backline equipment uh, stigma that's out there. You know, there are some cartridge companies and some backline companies with good reputations sure. for having good equipment but when you can have something that you spend a lot of time with yourself in your environment in your studio with your you, fellow musicians you get more familiar and this is like you play your guitar and now you can play your amp wherever you go exactly and i have a lot of pro players that bought it you know touring artists that have uh in big bands uh so it's it's not amateur guys it's the real deal players and sometimes you see big amps on stage that are not even plugged in yeah they're just dummy <laughs> cabs yeah. yeah or just facades yeah even. nice facades nice facades <laughs> yeah i mean hey who doesn't want a stack of speaker yeah. cabs behind it but we can't all be eddie van halen with 15 412 cabs behind <laughs> us 
But even even so, if yeah. you have to go small, you might as well go here. I, I'm won over by this. I, I'm so glad, Thomas, that you hey, came down. Big I, pleasure. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this experience. Uh, it's a very different kind of episode of Stompbox Saturday, but I think it was one that we absolutely had to take advantage of with Thomas being in town. And, and it was still a Stompbox. And it was still a Stompbox. <laughs> it is yeah. the Pedal Amp yeah. Company. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more content like this and get some exclusive content access as well, please consider becoming a member of my Patreon community. You will find a link for that down in the description below. And stay tuned. Click the subscribe button. Ring the bell for more notifications because more videos are coming. I'm not sure if this will be put out during the course of the NAM coverage or if this will be after, but hey. We will see. So for Thomas and Blue Guitar, I am Sean Pierce Johnson, and we wish you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers, my friends. We'll see you next time.